Hey, this is Scott Moore, and you're watching DevOps Driving, and we've got more coverage of the Atlassian Team 24 conference in Las Vegas with some great interviews. Watch this. I'm uh, Asaf Kiviti. I'm uh, the general manager at Matrix DevOps, a DevOps company that located in Israel. Tell me how you deal successfully within the DevOps model to get the software out in a, in a frictionless way where you don't have a lot of bottlenecks. We have a team of people that are doing the DevOps projects, uh, usually working with various tools and applications in order to help them. So in the way that they do it today, then what we see until the recent time, uh, the QA, QA area was a, a real problem for them because usually the code is being uh, developed pretty fast, mm -hmm. but the QA people are lagging behind with the testing. They have to read all the, story, the stories and create their testing. So what we see now that there is a, a huge change in this area because uh, a lot of the uh, companies now are doing a lot of AI in order to take those user stories from Jira, for example, and convert, convert them automatically to uh, test cases, test steps, etc., in order to make the QA tester work much easier than automatically to speed things up. So let me play the other side though. There's also this trust but verify piece to AI. So how do you know that what you're doing with this co-pilot and with AI, that it's, you can trust it to do it the right way. And don't you still need somebody with the context to understand, wait a second, that's not quite right. We need to steer this in the right direction. How much of a challenge is that? So it is a challenge. There, there are various tools, some of them from other vendors, not Copilot, they tell you that they have tested everything. They also tell you that they, there are no licensing issues involved with that because Copilot doesn't tell you that always. Uh, and that they have tested it and it progresses all the time to make sure that everything that the these tools are doing for you is what you intended uh, it to be. But definitely at the end, you need to verify that what was done by this tool is what, is what you intended it to do. So what would you say would be your biggest success story around DevOps in your company? Well, in, in recent, in recent uh, time, we did uh, for one of the, uh, one of the companies in Israel, the, one of the airlines in Israel, we did uh, an observability project where we observe all of their applications, including the mobile application, the website, everything that they do. And we saw that there was a demand, a high demand for tickets. And why is it DevOps? Because we saw it, it was hosted on Azure. We saw that there isn't enough resources on Azure. The platform was not holding up the application and instantly they had to spin up many more services in order to host all of these requests for tickets. And this was something that was happening like that because of this observability project that we did. And this was a huge success for us. And this caused them to understand that because of this observability project, they uh, uh, just saved a lot of money that was going down the drain if they couldn't have seen the issues so quickly because people were trying to get those tickets and they couldn't have bought them if the platform was not working. A absolutely, yeah. So I'm a person who really understands performance, efficiency, scalability, it's all gotta be there. So what's your favorite show to watch on YouTube? DevOps Driving. There you go, you heard it first.